All right. Uh, <laughs> it's your boy Hugh Blackman here. <laughs> Guess this is how we get it started today. Here we go. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's Burt Reynolds. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, y'all. Today's topic is going to be um, friends with benefits. Is it possible to truly do that and someone not catch feelings or change the dynamic of said set situationship or whatever you want to call it? So, to me, I just feel like when you're entering a situation when it comes to friends with benefits, you have to have those rules set and those rules have to be clear. Yes. You know, no amendments, no clauses. None of that, you know. They have to be this clear cut and dry. And as soon as someone starts breaking those rules, then I feel like then the entire agreement contractually should end. It should sever the ties. Um, have you had have you had any experiences? I've had experiences with it. Uh, I've got someone I am pretty cool with. You know, I don't mind sharing this. You know, I'm not gonna throw the names out there. Um, and we're pretty we're pretty good about it. And uh, we're good friends. And we keep it pretty. That's it, you know. Every and we don't even do it all the time. We just she's she's in, ends up being actually she's one of like one of my best friends. She's amazing. So I can say it can work, you know, as long as you can keep feelings aside outside of it. And she does her own thing, and I do my own thing, and, and that's it. Just keep it strictly like that. So and it's been going for a couple of months. I don't know if someone's been out there doing it for years or whatever, but right. it, it can work. It's just communication. Whenever she just like we've got, we've gotten to the point to where we know when something's off or when something's off you know we're, we're still close you know regardless of that yes it's just a physical thing but she's still my friend ultimately yeah well i don't have any friends i just have benefits <laughs> no nah. but i look at it like this there is a time where you know was not dating someone was a friend with benefits thing but we were doing this consistently for about a year and a half and at the end of our agreement know she started to catch a little bit of feeling she started to treat it kind of like a, a rent a center or a rent to own she used that time to 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 build up this connection with me all of a sudden at the end of the term she wants to pay in full and try to start something a relationship and that's like that's that wasn't a part of the agreement and I had to end it. I had to end it. Now, we're still friends, but we just don't do the benefits part. So mm -hmm. it's all about establishing those rules, like I said earlier, and sticking to them. Because I know I know it's hard. Because as soon as you start catching feelings and that wasn't a part of the original thing, that could ruin both the benefits and the friends. And you don't want to do that. You know, if you're going to end it, end it, you know, at least still be fit. Yeah, exactly. Communication. Basically, as if you're in a relationship anyway, communicate. Hey, I'm starting to feel differently. Hey, um, I have somebody else I'm doing something with, and it's getting deeper. We're gonna separate. Just communication. Don't just start. Yeah, <laughs> just getting more. You know, just being honest and upfront with somebody about it. If situations are changing. You're feeling. Just speak about it. Whether it's the guy or the girl, it's just basic human rights. Just speak about it. Talk about it. Don't sit there and I gotta sit there and move you around like a Rubik's cube and decipher what you're saying. Just say, hey. I'm not comfortable with this anymore. Can we stop this? Or hey, yeah. I feel this way. Express yourself, you know? None of that jealous stuff. If you're friends with benefits, yes. then jealousy shouldn't be a thing. If you see me out with somebody else kicking it or doing whatever, that's a part of that catching feelings thing, and we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna just be like, look, our contract is null and void. There we go. It's like, we're back to just being friends. Exactly, and then I've known that some people say, you know, why jeopardize a possible friendship or whatever. Well, that's something you discuss with the other individual. You could say all day long that you want to, you know, you know, you don't want to jeopardize it, but there's plenty of people I'm sure that used to do it and that are cool as fuck now, still regardless. So, the point is the main the main factor of all this is communication. If you're gonna do something like this and enter this kind of agreement with somebody, communicate. Don't just ghost them. Don't just x them out your life. You know, don't just push them away. Communicate. Make them sign a contract and make sure you get a notary. So yeah, no. you can get a witness. So you got your ass covered. It's not none of that extra shit. Yeah, the, the, the third bird, man, there it is. <laughs> get it. all that. Make some friends. Apparently, make some phone calls. <laughs> but anyway, guys, <laughs> that's all we got for you today. You know what you got to do? Like, comment, subscribe. We want to hear what you're thinking. Hit that notification bell. 
And that's it for us. We outro today. <laughs>